All right, so we're going to be begin assembling the shocks by taking the springs off. So just remove the spring cup from the bottom half, take the spring off, and then remove the threaded shock collar. Um, these are a little bit tight at first because they haven't ever been lubricated, so just take that all the way down to the bottom of the threads, and then it will come right off the shock body, and just set that aside. Where you're gonna, and then uh, so the yellow springs, those are for the front of the car. Uh, the blue springs are for the rear of the car. So just take, disassemble all that. Uh, FG includes silicone shock fluid. It's a 5,000 weight uh, fluid, so you just got to cut off that little cap. So then you're able to fill it with oil. So you can see, so it's just, it says silicone shock absorber oil. This is 5,000 weight. It comes with two bottles, which is enough to build your shocks probably about four times. So uh, when you take the cap off, there will be a little diaphragm. So you'll just set those aside. And what you'll do with the shock shaft pulled all the way out is you're going to fill the shock body about halfway to three quarters with oil. You're going to push the shaft up slowly, only a little bit. You're going to see some bubbles come out. Slowly pull the shock shaft back down. And then what you'll do, once you kind of pull it back down and let those bubbles come all the way out, that lets all the air out from underneath the shock piston. So set it aside in an upright position and let that air settle. And once it's settled, you'll come back and you're gonna to top it off with uh, the rest of the shock oil. So you can see there's no more bubbles left, so it's ready to go. So you're just gonna fill it up nearly to the top at this point, what you're going to do is you're going to take your uh, the diaphragm. <clears throat> so you, I'm just moving it up and down, make sure there's no more bubbles. Uh, you're going to take the rubber diaphragm. Sorry, I'm just making. So the diaphragm goes with the bulge downward and then what you want to do is you're just going to kind of work the diaphragm around a little bit with the shock shaft pulled all, pushed all the way up so the shock shafts pushed all the way up and you're just gonna work the diaphragm around and kind of burp the shock you're gonna let the excess oil come out and so once you feel like it's it's sitting pretty flush again the shock shaft is pushed all the way into the shock body just carefully line up the shock cap, get the threads on correctly so they're not cross threaded, and then you'll tighten the shock cap with the shock shaft pushed all the way in. You're going to want to have a rag on hand so that you can wipe away the excess oil that spills out the top of the cap. So making sure that your shock cap is fully tight, pull the shock shaft out. Make sure that it stays put. Make sure that you're able to push it all the way in. If you feel a, a lot of resistance as the shock shaft is pushed all the way in, that means you've got too much oil, so you need to let some of it out. Inside the uh, preload adjuster, the shock, re the shock preload collar, there's a small O-ring. What you'll wanna do is lubricate that O-ring just a little bit. That will keep the O-ring from getting torn when you install it on the shock body and when you're adjusting the preload on your shocks. So you just put that on, thread it up. Wipe off any excess oil so that it doesn't collect and collect any dust and grit. Install your spring. Install your spring cup. And then your final preload adjustment will be done uh, when you get the cars installed, the shocks installed on the car. But there you go. So that's how you bleed a shock.